Hi, this is Amir Nzur from uh, Webpreneur University. I'm standing here with uh, Rick Ip Itzkowicz, Itzkowicz uh, who is a LinkedIn expert. So you've heard about um, you know, social media, it's who you know that's going to get you a job, right? You can start using tools like LinkedIn, Facebook, etc. to start drumming up business or get a better job. And what I'm going to ask Rick is uh, just about how we can start using LinkedIn properly. Uh, so Rick, uh, thanks for being on. A pleasure. Uh, so uh, just give, give us your background. How did you get started with LinkedIn? How did you know it was a powerful tool? Why? I had no idea. I actually did it out of desperation. And uh, a few years ago, my company, I have a seminar company, and uh, I'm in charge of business development. And I needed to find a different way to generate more business, so I started dabbling in different uh, social media. And I've been a member of BNI, Business Network International, which is uh, one of the premier networking organizations offline for a long time. And then one day, I, 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 you know, it was really an accident. Uh, somebody in my chapter asked for an introduction to an individual and I thought, hey, I wonder if he is on LinkedIn. Well, I went and I typed in the name of the person and lo and behold, not only was he on LinkedIn, but he was connected to a couple of people that I knew very well. And I asked these people if they would introduce me to them, my colleague. And not only they introduced me, they actually said they knew him perfectly. This was a great fit for what this person was looking. And it ended up being a fabulous referral for my colleague. And that's when I finally understood, you know, there's an incredible power in this connection business that if you actually start building it and using it strategically, it can really explode. And so that's how I learned. It was really by mistake and then I have really invested a lot of time in learning the do's and the don'ts yeah. about how to do that. Awesome. I, I think um, the U.S. is a lot more advanced in, in terms of LinkedIn usage and I think right now in the Middle East it's just starting to pick up. I see more and more connection requests uh -huh. uh, this year than you know last year. So what, what kind of um, things do you have on your profile that, that, that uh, attract people that get business to you? Well, the most person. important thing, first of all, let me tell you that in my experience, at least 90% of the people on LinkedIn anywhere in the world have no clue how to do, how to use LinkedIn successfully. In fact, we're in a social media conference. There's uh, 12 uh, experts on social media, and in talking to them, the vast majority don't get LinkedIn. Yeah. So it is just, most people have no idea about the power behind LinkedIn. So in terms of what are some things that people can do, the first and most important thing that people can do immediately that is going to help them tremendously on LinkedIn is bring their profile to 100% completion. LinkedIn will actually show you what are the steps necessary for you to do that, but among them, chief among them is your picture. You must have a photograph of yourself on LinkedIn. You also need some recommendations from people who will actually give you an endorsement or recommendation and that will help you start building your profile. A full 100% profile not only will give you a lot more credibility, but it will also make it easier for people who are searching for what you do to find you. So that's a quick one that anybody can start doing right away and uh, it will have a big impact into what they're doing. So when you're looking for a supplier, do you use LinkedIn and say, oh, I'm looking for a web I designer? Looked in, or I, look, I, I use LinkedIn for everything. Yeah. I mean, actually, you can uh, right now for intelligence, it's free intelligence you can actually get. Let's say you're having some problems with uh, your internet. It happened to me a few years ago. I needed some uh, help with email deliverability. I typed a question to my LinkedIn network. Hey, by the way, I'm having some question, some problem with you know internet uh, email deliverability. Can anybody help or who can you suggest? I got so many responses from people and one of them happened to be a CTO from a Fortune 500 company who actually ended up spending about eight hours of his time at no cost to me to help me with my problem. Awesome. <laughs> yes. So that, that's yes. a CTO to connect to then. That's huh? oh yes. Not only that, we've built a relationship since and he's doing it for the love of it because yeah. he wants to help people, not because he's in there to make money. Yeah. And that's the other thing about LinkedIn, out of all the social networks, that's one community where people are genuinely there. I'm not gonna say everybody, but a good percentage of the people who are there for the purpose of helping others. So do you personally use uh, LinkedIn more than Facebook? Or yes. Yeah. Yes. LinkedIn is my number one network. And see, but LinkedIn is a very different uh, social network site. It is not a sales channel. And that's why it doesn't appeal to a lot of people because they don't know how to monetize it without sales. But what it is, is a relationship channel. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that LinkedIn is that people don't understand is a search engine. So it's a search engine that allows both to find what it is that you're looking for, but also to be found. So if you understand the principles of building relationships, a 
of reciprocity, of adding value, then LinkedIn is a gold mine, especially if your business depends on relationships. Awesome. So what, what you do in the first thing in the morning, you spend a couple of hours on LinkedIn or no. not even? No, not even. I tell people that they can actually be successful and start generating results out of LinkedIn if they spend as little as one hour a week. Okay. So awesome. people can spend 10 minutes a day, one hour a week. If you're willing to invest one hour a week, you'll get results out of LinkedIn. Needless to say, if you do more, you can do more, but you yeah. don't have to spend hours on LinkedIn to be able to do that. Awesome. And uh, so what you, you have some tools that can help people, right, with LinkedIn and you have a coaching program? Yeah, so what I do is I have a series of videos that I created and it's the best thing. It's, it, it's similar to me sitting at your computer and coaching you, telling you exactly, do this, do that. Here's why you want to do it. Here's how you're going to here's how you're going to do it. And here's what you need to do. So these videos are short, they're six to 10 minutes long, and each one of them actually walks you through the various facets of using LinkedIn. And after you've been able to watch even a few of these, you will know more than 90% of the LinkedIn users. Awesome, and even if someone gets one customer, that's worth so much value to them, right? No, in, in, in I mean, the... it is, not, not only that, the other thing that LinkedIn is great is for you to become a resource for your network. You see, if you become a connector, you become the go-to person who can find anything and anyone, then what you can do is people will be seeking you out. People will want to connect with you because they know that you can provide stuff for them. So instead of you going looking for people, people will actually find you. And that's when it gets really exciting. Awesome. And uh, wh where is it that people can check you out or can they connect you on LinkedIn? Do yeah, you? absolutely. Because this is the thing on LinkedIn, uh, those guys say don't connect to everyone and the Twitter they say connect to everyone. So what do you, what's your thoughts on that? Well, you'll have to watch the videos to actually know. Just kidding. But <laughs> yeah. I will give you uh, a couple of things right away. There are four main strategies when it comes to uh, connecting on LinkedIn. And one of them it's called the uh, Lions, which stands for LinkedIn Open Networker. And these people connect to everybody. It doesn't matter. They just connect to anybody and everybody. Okay. Then there's the exact opposite of that. Those are the turtles. These are the people who will only connect to somebody that they personally know incredibly well. Then there's the people who uh, actually are uh, a hybrid between the, those, and that is they don't invite anyone, but what they do is they accept everyone. And then there's the fourth one, which basically does a, uh, a mix and match with only the people that they think that are going to add value to their network. They don't have to know them very well. And those last two, one of them is, um, what was the name of it, which I, I just forgot, uh, yeah. is the turtle, the lion, uh, the hound dog. Yeah. That's the person who's actually sniffing out who would be you know, the, the right person. And the other one was the alley cat. The one basically who actually is very selective about what they're doing. So you're a lion? No, I actually have been a turtle, have yeah. been a lion, and my latest one has been an alley cat. <laughs> and that is I pretty much I accept everyone's invitation provided that they meet a certain criteria. And I have some criteria. One of them is they need to have a picture. And the second one is my question is, do I believe that this person will add value to my network? As long as they add value to my network and they meet another criteria, which is they have the picture and they have several recommendations, I will pretty much accept the invitations. And then I'm selective as to who I invite. How can it be? How can they go bad? Has, have you had any negative experiences? Someone's no. abused the network? And no, one of the things that people stamped. don't understand is you have full control. Nobody can connect to anybody in your network unless they go through you first or they themselves are connected to the person. Awesome. Okay, Rick, uh, thanks for that. So, and what's the uh, website that they can catch? It's more? LinkedIn for Dummies, all one word, LinkedInForDummies.net. Is it F-O-R or number four? Uh, F-O-R. Okay. LinkedInForDummies.net. LinkedIn. Okay. Awesome, Rick. Thanks for that. And uh, we'll put a link to your uh, where people can connect as well. Thank and you. And uh, thanks for your time. And we're at the uh, Unlimited Power You Learn TwitFace Social Media Conference. And this is Amir from uh, Weaponer University. LinkedIn is definitely a tool for professionals and people are more and more using it. It's good to just at least get your profile on there even if it's uh, if you're not doing much and over time your network builds. I have 500 plus connections. I don't do much with LinkedIn at the moment but I know it's much more uh, important for your professional network and over time all these things you invest in now and you get your payback or if you're looking for payback over time over the long term period there's a lot of my friends that would not connect to me on Facebook but would connect to me on LinkedIn etc or vice versa right so um, look out for it put a put a profile on put a nice recommendation and uh, enjoy
catch up later on webinaryuniversity.com.